Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV, where we are rejoining members of the Florida Power Boat Club on the annual Jacksonville River Rally Poker Run, which takes place in late spring every year here in the River City. This is Stu Jones, and I'm riding aboard a 47-foot Apache as we catch a glimpse of these awesome power boats that were trailered here from all over the United States for this exciting weekend on the St. Johns River. We just picked up a poker card at Whitey's Fish Camp on Doctors Lake, and it's time to get back up to speed as Tom Hofstetter pushes the throttles forward on this triple engine 47-foot Apache, which has come here all the way from Fort Lauderdale to represent PowerBoatNation.com. As our helicopter joins in, let's catch up with some of the other teams for a closer look at all the cool boats. This is Eric and Carrie Belial from Fort Myers Beach in their 32-foot Spectre, which they call Why Walk When You Can Run. Looks like they're running now at about 80 miles per hour as they head for the next checkpoint further south on the St. Johns River. Here's Jason and Susan Taylor who came all the way from Tennessee to attend with their 32-foot sensation called Revolver. This is a great boat for poker runs, easy to trailer, and with factory stock Mercury engine, it requires minimal maintenance, a great way to attack the poker run sport. For those with a thirst for the finer things in life, you may want to consider this 44-foot MTI powered by Lycoming turbine engines. Jules Tremblay has owned several incredible power boats over the years, but this is truly one of the finest. If you've got an itch for an exotic machine, this one's ready for a new home. Here's a local guy that keeps coming back year after year on the Jacksonville run. This is Gene Crowley in his 22-foot Donzi Classic, and this is proof that you can pretty much run any size boat here on the calm conditions that are common along the St. Johns River. Michael Adamus recently traded in his 42-foot Outer Limits, so he somehow managed to pull in a substitute for the Jacksonville run. This 44-foot MTI has a unique rudder steering system that is popular on many of the racing catamarans. Along with daytime fun on the water, our poker run teams have plenty of nighttime fun too. The Thursday night party was sponsored by the Jacksonville Tilted Kilt, where all the poker run teams gathered for a festive evening with hospitality from the friendly Tilted Kilt staff and some great Celtic-inspired food. In keeping with the Celtic tradition, the Friday night party moved to the Irish-themed Finn McCool's, a new arrival on the scene at Jacksonville Landing, which gave our poker run attendees a new and exciting venue for the evening festivities. Finn McCool's offers both indoor and outdoor dining with fabulous food, live bands on weekends, and a great view of the scenic St. John's River. Local ladies were invited to show off their favorite bikinis and compete for the title of the Miss Jacksonville Poker Run. This is a tradition which has long been popular on many of the Florida Powerboard Club's poker run events. The contest resulted in a tie for first place between a Whiskey River bartender named Christine and a modeling school teacher named Makayla. It's back to the Saturday Poker Run, and it looks like our fleet has arrived at the Outback Crab Shack, which is located about 35 miles south of Jacksonville on Six Mile Creek. This is by far one of the most popular waterfront lunch stops for boaters from the Jacksonville area, and with about 1,300 feet of floating dock, it's the perfect place to accommodate our huge Poker Run fleet. This is probably a good time to get the cameras and iPhones out, guys, because with all this scenery, you gotta send some pictures home to all their buddies who didn't make it to the poker run. And these shots also illustrate what I call poker run teamwork. Nice to see the crew, especially the ladies, grabbing onto a dock line, hanging a fender over the side of the boat, and making sure the boat gets tied up without any glitches. The faster we get tied up, the sooner we can get on the dock and enjoy our lunch. After we got settled in, I got Tommy Hofstetter to tell us a little more about our Apache's engine room. Tommy, tell me about this, uh, these engines in the Apache. These are my uh, uh, chief engines, uh, 1200 horsepower, uh, twin turbo EFI engine. These are 93 octane, uh, uh, big block Chevrolet, twin turbo charge, intercooled uh, EFI motors. Excellent manageability around the dock, uh, really run good, uh, very uh, mild personality to them. It's a good all-around engine. I've sold several sets of them. They've been running really, really good. Very happy with them. It's a, it's a great package for us. 
but you can't spend too much time on the dock because there's some serious grub inside. Outback Crab Shack arranged a seafood buffet featuring their famous snow crab, shrimp, and barbecue, a hearty meal served buffet style. And you never know who you might run into. Did somebody say Reggie's in the house? Reggie, nice to see you. Good to see you. You're looking good, man. Right, here, just came over here to check you out. Don't go away. After this break, we'll be rolling on the river with more high-speed action and the coolest power boats on the Florida waterways. When we return to Power Boating in Paradise TV, we'll be right back. <laughs> 